Okay, so I'm using freckles now because freckles is a way that um, XP tends to present in early stages. In later stages, you'll see growths that are typically malignant or um, precancerous. They'll be a lot bigger. But freckling and sunburns is usually very typical and characteristic in the early stages. So what are the symptoms? It usually progresses through three stages, going over this more briefly. So the areas that are exposed to the sun, such as the face, show a reddening of the skin with scaling and freckling, similar to what I have right now with this filter. The irregular dark spots will also start to appear. You'll start to see crusting of lesions or lesions that won't go away and that'll be persistent. These changes will progress throughout the body, usually sun exposed areas, the neck, lower legs, shins, and in severe cases, even the trunk itself, which relatively is usually sun protected. Over the winter months, these changes will fade and diminish over time. Continuous sun exposure will lead to other stages, such as poikiloderma, skin atrophy, and telangiectasia. You're probably asking yourself, what does that mean? Telangiectasias are usually blood vessels that are more pronounced and smaller, kind of like capillaries that never, that are usually stay closer to the surface and are more evident and sometimes they have to be treated by laser. Atrophy of the skin means a thinning of the skin and poikiloderma is a modeled discoloration, hyper and hypopigmentation. The third stage would be development of precancerous lesions, what we call actinic keratosis and skin cancers, usually squamous cell carcinoma and basal cell carcinoma. These can occur as early as four to five years old with a mean age of around eight. They're usually very prevalent in sun exposed areas like the face. They could even be melanomas. Um, they're at risk for those as well. Problems with the eyes occur in about 80% of patients. Eyes are usually painfully sensitive to the sun. You get photophobia. They get easily irritated, bloodshot, and clouded. Conjunctivitis might also occur and skin lesions around the eyes that are cancerous and non-cancerous could occur. Neurologic problems can also happen, such as spasticity, problems with coordination, developmental delay, and also being short, short stature. This can develop in late childhood or adolescence, and once it does occur, it unfortunately tends to worsen over time.